G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, we're at Tonsley this morning and uh, I've just come up near the main entrance to uh, Tonsley where uh, everybody's heading to coffee and cars and uh, as you can see there's a bit of a, a roll up here. I can see a, uh, a nice TP Magna coming in so uh, yeah but he's got to stop for the lights to let the others come through but as you can see it's a bit of a it's a bit of a traffic jam very good event this very well supported and uh, I don't know how far you can see up the road but yeah they're still coming in sorry about the stoplights See the TP Magna come in. And the little Morris Miner is going out. Ford custom line. Very, very cool. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Toyota. Yeah, so as you can see there, there's quite a few, uh, quite a few rolling up. That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, we might watch this for a few minutes and then We'll uh, go for a bit of a wander and see a few of these wonderful vehicles parked up. As I can see, they're still they're still rolling in. So, all right, a bit more later. I don't know what's going on these days, but um, my fellow YouTuber friend, Everything Cars, has had a fascination with these. And ever since I went looking for one, they keep popping up. So, uh, yeah, here's, here's a ute for him.
to salivate over. And uh, yeah, they keep seem to be following me all over the place ever since uh, he sort of, oh, can you send me some pictures? And can you do this for me? Oh, can you do that for me? And ever since I've been plagued by these bloody things, I shouldn't be cruel. But uh, it's a bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, this one's actually got clean headlights, mate. Very clean headlights. So, yeah, you're lucky. Because I prefer something a little bit more in that line over there, which we'll go and have a look at. The old Kingswood Ute, eh? A little bit of rust on it, a little bit of patina, but uh, apart from that, she's looking quite, uh, quite good. Nice to see these old workhorses around. Got a little bit of a dent in the back, but hey, it's a Ute, it's a workhorse. They weren't meant to be pristine, were they? And if I can get out the shadows, um, or the sun, um, we've got this nice um, premiere. Very, very nice. White. Beautiful. Sort of did like this, uh, this model. And, uh, oop. as you can see, premiere with the um, rear lights embedded into the uh, bumper. Very cool indeed. V8 it says, so we'll believe that. Oh, there's something through barbed wire. And another Ford that I believe somebody else likes as well, that model. There you go mate, there's one in action. A Ford, just for you. I do like this Commodore though. SS of course. That's very cool. Nice grey. No. Nice old Chrysler Valiant, or Chrysler Regal, I should say. Chrysler Regal Valiant. Nice to see one of the old girls, one of these old girls back home again, of course. Well, that's very cool. When we all used to make motor cars here, and if I'm not mistaken, a GJ Sigma. I'm not sure if I've seen this one before, but he's still rocking the uh, the roof racks as well, which is cool. Love that. The old GJ Sigma. Hey. I went a bad sort of a car. He's debadged it, so but I guess it's a 2.6, I'd say. But uh, normally they used to have the little um, what engine size? Ah, oh, he's got one on the other side, the 2.6. Oh, there you go. Well, that answered the question, and my assumption was right. So there, yeah, that was that's a nice. Uh, I think that's the same colour as the one that my dad had. And uh, if we can see inside, they have, this has got the uh, velourie cloth uh, trim in it. So, uh, yeah, nice to see. It looks all original too, or well, pretty much so. Shouldn't be watching a learner drive.
driver who might make him a bit nervous. So I'll make him a bit more nervous. So there's one for everything cars so you can see one moving instead of the still photos that I usually send him. And wouldn't you know it, I'm wandering around and look what else I've come across. Another one. God, that's two today. The things are following me for sure. Well, I've just stumbled across this beautiful EJ Ute. Love the colour. Absolutely eye popping. And uh, yeah, it's in very, very, very nice. Sort of love this thing. Should be in a mag. There's even. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, carried the colour into the, the dash as well. The windows are up, so yeah, I can't get a good look inside. But yeah, I can sort of see. That's very cool. And he's got the B&M shifter as well. But that thing is just cool. this thing motorsport edition and he's got that little Holden racing team sticker on the side A nice VF motorsport edition Holden mobile one and there's a nice old Holden out while we're looking at this one that's very cool. Even got the little Holden on the wheel hubs. That is so cool. I wonder what they'd look like on my VH. That is so cool though. I love it. Well, as you can see, they've come, they've drunk coffee, and now it's time to go. So, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this smallish episode of uh, Coffee and Cars from Tonsley. And uh, I'll say thank many thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now, guys, and thanks a million.